All right, so check this out. I've got all these separate elements here, right? And I just upload them here, and in like a minute, I've got a full animation. This is the new Kling 01. People are calling it the Nano Banana for video, and they are not wrong. So what can this thing actually do? Reference-based generation, phasing animations, replacing objects in video, changing the clothing of a person, changing the environment, adding your houses to a drone shot, animation from technical drawing to 3D rendering, well, basically everything. Okay, first scenario, and this is where it gets interesting. Let's say I've got multiple elements, separate images, objects, whatever you want, and I want them all into one single image. Watch this. And here in uh, Kling, we are using this one, Kling 01, so it's a new one, and I'm going here to the image, and I'm going to upload images. I already have uploaded them here, so I'm just going to select them, what I did. So I will select this uh, man here, I'll select the tree and this tree as well, select these bushes, the rock and the house. I'll confirm and it uploads all of them here with this uh, tags. So to add a new tag, you just click add and now you can select which one you want. So actually I'm going to, to leave the tags as they were and now what I'm going to say is Zoli shot, a forest environment, cabin, man walking out of the house. So I'm not being super, super specific here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate one image with uh, professional five seconds and 16 by nine. And that's it. So I'm using the video generation, not image. It can also generate image and video one. So click generate. And here we have our result. Let me put this bigger. So we can see that we have those elements. We have like a forest on the, on the background. We have some of the bushes here on the left. We have the rock, we have the house, and it's quite consistent. We, ne we even can see the kitchen inside and the man is walking out of the, of, the, of the house. So I think it's looking quite good for something that we just have images. It's like we just have a basic rough sketch idea and we can iterate from here. And we can see now the second uh, one, which were a little bit more detailed. And let's see how, how it went out. And now here's the second one. The part of the coffee didn't understand, but we do have the tree and the rock on the, on the, on the foreground. And we have a little garden with those bushes. So I think it's quite good as well. And this gives you some options to explore what would be the best one for you to do. And you can still iterate and do other things. Like for example, here, I said it's on a mountain and it's drinking coffee on the, on the porch and it's raining. So it's a little bit different. You can create different scenarios and see how they will play out. For the second case scenario, I have here an empty room and it's without any furniture. And here it's the final shot with all the furniture in place. And we're going to do an animation of all the elements popping in into the, to this uh, scene. We upload both images here and we say here, each piece of furniture pops up, rotates and falls into place one by one. The camera has super small, smooth forward motion. And then I give the references of image one and image two. To give a reference you already know, just make the add and then select the image. And this is the result it gave me. So you can see that actually, yeah, the furniture flies in and pops into place. And you can even add audio, click AI sound, and it will automatically suggest the prompt for you, as you can see here. And when you generate, it gives you a couple of options, as you can see here. So one, two, three, and number four. Yeah, so I think it's just a little bit out of sync, but we can fix this quite easily. But it looks quite nice for this type of animations. Now let's move to case number three. And this one is actually quite useful because you can add a drone image that you have and insert your project there without any hassle. So let's have a look. So this, I will just upload a video here, video upload, and I'll select my a drone shot, it's this one. And then I'm going to upload an image. I will upload maybe this one here. Replace the first house on the video. I will just 
render one image. So for videos, uh, it's eight seconds uh, because I think it's the duration of the video that I, I gave. So it's eight seconds, it's gonna be the same duration. And it says here automatic because it's the same resolution. So I'm just going to click generate. So I started to create the generation. So this one, since it's a video, you can see here that the generation will take a little bit longer. And so the task is finished. And as you can see, I think it did a pretty good job replacing the first house and it maintains the, the tracking. And let me put this a little bit bigger. Okay, so yeah, so we have the scene moving and we can see it maintains pretty much the consistency. It doesn't change the place. So I think for, if you have drone shots, I think this is a very nice solution now. And a nice thing that you can do is to generate multiple environments with this same house that you just created. Go to O1 to create. So you push this video to the prompt and now you can say, make this uh, winter environment blue hour with Christmas lights. Since we are in Christmas time almost, so let's try it out. So our image is finished and you can see that we have a winter scenario, blue hour, so it's quite moody, and we have some Christmas lights on the, on the trees that it had there. So yeah, I think overall it understood what we wanted. We can still iterate this and we can change to multiple environments. We can change to different houses, maybe one with a pool. You can do all sorts of things. And you can see it keeps quite well the consistency of the, of the video. Now let's try another use case. So basically what I want to do here, I want to replace this sofa by this one. Let's see how well it can do this, right? So let's upload both images. Replace the sofa on the right side by the sofa on image one, like this. Let's see what it can do. Generate. And now that it's finished, let's see the animation. <laughs> Look at this. I think it's quite impressive. It, it replaced the, the sofa with another one and the animation stays really consistent. I think this is one of the cases that it's really useful because you can quickly test ideas. If that didn't work, just splash another couch, just splash another armchair and see what it works, you know? You can do whatever you want here. So it's really the nano banana, but for video. Now let's take this a step forward and see how well it can turn a technical drawing into a realistic rendering. I'm going to upload these images here. I have the floor plan I have an image created with Nana Banana that uh, is a representation of the flo floor plan. And then another one that it's with a lower angle. So let's upload all of them. And I will say crane shot from image three. So it will start with this one. Actually, I'll remove all of this to image two and then image one to an eye level perspective. So I'll generate and the animation is finished. So let's have a look, We're already watching the end. So I think the first part, it just starts with a basic fade in. So yeah, I think this one looks quite good, except the beginning with a technical plan that could be improved. Now, another one that I want to show you is, imagine that you have this here, this uh, render, and you have a person and you want that person to have a different type of clothing because this one really doesn't match you like the character that you have on your uh, 3D application, but uh, you want to change the clothes. So what you can do here is, again, upload here the image, and then you can go here to Element, and they already have here a lot of presets, so you can upload your own presets if you want, and we have to have different views for, uh, for it to be able to work correctly, but we already have here some. And what I'm going to do is, I go here to Costumes, and I will select maybe this one, this dress. I'll add this cat. Let's see what it will create. I'll change this to 16 by nine and I'll create generate. And here you have it. So you see it replaced the, the clothing quite well with the new dress. And we have the cat on the, on the, on the lap. So yeah, it's, uh, for this, I think it's working really, really well. And of course we have the person and the camera moving as well. Now let's try replacing a material in the video already. So on this video, I'll create here. So I'm gonna use the video and I'm gonna upload here this fabric and I'll say, replace the fabric material 
on the sofa on the right with this material. And I'm going to click Generate. And here are other examples of the, the tool, and other tests that I've done. And I'm constantly testing this tool and see the, the capabilities of it. So if you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe and stay tuned. OK, so this is just scratching the surface. I've been testing a ton of different scenarios with Kling 01, and there's way too much to fit it in one video. So definitely stick around. I'll be dropping more videos on this soon. If you want to try it yourself, I've got a link down in the description. Sign up and play around with it. Seriously, this changes the game for video content. And if you are into this kind of stuff, I've got another video up here that covers even more architecture use cases. Definitely worth checking out. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.